This is 3D coat retopology process. So um, I've done a fair bit of this so far. And a uh, thing I like to use here is the brush to move uh, some points around. You can also use shift. And if you hold down shift and use the mouse button, uh, I think it's the right mouse button to change the strength. You can change the amount that everything relaxes by. And you can also keep the bounds, uh, that is the outer areas where they are. So you can focus on uh, just the inside. Uh, but to have this off, then you can also relax some of the areas here. So uh, why do I use this over Quadro? Um, mainly because I find the navigation a little bit easier. Um, but Quadro is still very nice. And apart from the odd problem, uh, like here, uh, that's really just down to me making a really bad mesh for the head. And I'll just uh, maybe fix this externally. This whole area can maybe be fixed and reprojected. So I'll just do a little bit of smoothing for now. Uh, the cool thing about this is we can just go to the points on polygons and hold down control and add another loop and then go back to the brush and make sure this is unchecked and I just use shift and things will gradually be pulled inwards especially with a smaller brush so this is a bit of a mess here this needs looked at um, probably and something else you can see why it's just go into like whatever it can find. It's a little bit finicky like that, but that's really just because I've got a big gap here on the the original mesh, and I need to you know fix this up a bit. That'll do for now. I can pull all this in later. Uh, so if you go to points and polygons, you can start to put down two points and then right click to start to make any sort of loops or anything like that but you don't have to do it that way you can also go to your strokes and draw like this and then off here as long as one of those points goes red it's connected see that little red point there so it's connected if I press enter it will make the polygons. Anything I missed, I'll just fill those in like that. Okay, so I'm trying to map the direction um, either way from the polygons I've got available. And see, I'm starting to go down now, down the way. So I'll bring all this down. And I'm losing geometry at the back because it's covered by hair. Uh, maybe add one more loop here just to help hold the shape a bit so that I can come up the way here. I'll go up again. So I'm just making decisions about what way to turn. I might come back to that. Okay, I've got a lot of geometry here that can start to be reduced, but I'll take my time in reducing it. Usually when I just get to a point where they get too close together, I'll call that a good chance to reduce them, but I'll first I'll relax all of this stuff. See if I can bring it more into some kind of uh, balance. I'll keep the points, the edges where they are for a second. And then back to points and polygons, I can start to fix the flow. I just want to make sure I've got flow in various directions. It's kind of a good rule of thumb when doing topology, as long as there's some kind of flow. I'll just reduce this one. I'll also reduce this one. It's getting fiddly because my brush size is so small or something. Okay, and 
really don't need as much geometry as this as I get towards the top of the head. start to go around to the back. I'll just start with the back, plot some dots down the middle and then I'll just connect these up and hold down control and I'll do a couple of divisions and they automatically snap like that so it's kind of nice. And now I'll, I'll use the strokes to decide how I'm going to go across the way here. Good thing is I don't have to go all the way. It's only going to give me so many and then I can start to put in some divisions and then start to think about how these are going to tie up. So split those and then I can use add and split here. Nice small brush so it knows to go just between those two. And press escape to come out of that and then I can start to use my points and points and faces again. Start to tie this up together. Okay. Try to avoid shapes like this where it may accidentally make the triangulation here, then you end up with some bad shading error. So this is a thing to avoid, so I usually just try and force it to look like a quad or I'll put in a loop like that and then I'll delete uh, this edge, hold down control. Now I just want to do one more so that it only detects that edge. Ah, it's been sneaky, so I'll take, take away one first then take away that one, there we go. And then I can go to my brush and start to smooth all this again and then I just have this one to do so I'll just um, I can use smart retopo which will oops I'll just do escape first so I'll go here and here I think doesn't always work so good I've not really figured this out yet um, but it makes sense just to use the points and polygons and start to put your points in like this it's super fast. Right, with that done, I can check the symmetry by hold, uh, pressing S and do X axis. And then I can play with the brush and just bring everything in a bit until it snaps up. I still have the inside of the mouth to do as well, so I'm going to do that manually outside of the coat because it's it, it's kind of tricky to get in inside there and do the topology. There is an open area there, you can't quite see it. I'm just going to clear um, unused points and find it. Yeah, clear. So I have to go to. Uh, points and polygons and then I get this clear points just for any excess dots that are around. Okay so I can move on to the the ear. Let's just seal that up at the back. I just have to go to a point. I can overlap a little bit. Uh, once I go to there. Uh, they, they just snap up and then when I tell it to commit the the mesh um, uh, it's going to apply the symmetry so I'll just save this, I've not actually saved it yet Oops. okay and then back to points and polygons and I'll think about how I'm going to make this. So the first thing I like to do is make this loop here, go right around the ear. It's just the easiest thing to get to get uh, going. 
the ear is probably the hardest thing to avoid spiral uh, spiral spiraling um, topology there's no real way about it um, I'm gonna connect that up there you see how it's like automatically going down that way and then when I get to a point here it's gonna go kind of nuts as well and I don't have enough topology here to <coughs> connect it up with so I could add in a loop but maybe I don't want it all the way to the eye so I'll just choose a point to collapse it I can do um, collapse edges like this once I've done a couple uh, I should be able to do control and then just snap all them like that. So that gives me my extra topology. And just waiting until that shows up. If I don't like that mode, I can use quads mode where I connect up the dots. So I choose one side, then a point, then a point. It automatically does it. And I just have to kind of move this to be next to another one. It's fiddly, so we'll use escape and you come out of that. Escape will kind of reset it and back to points and polys and I can really kind of fine tune this part so it's good that I make a loop here uh, going right round just to a point where I'm going to add kind of extra subdivision to this I'm just going to do that now just because there's a lot more shape change here and I will put one here as well. You see how it automatically pops to the shape of the ear. It's going to put in a few like that. And I'll reduce them at the back of the ear. Let's put one here as well. I want in this this ear just to look nice. I want it to have a nice shape. You know, this is a cinematic style character, so it deserves more polys, especially in the face. So this bit's a bit of a manual process. The ear's probably the hardest thing to retopple in my mind. I'm going to do the same thing again here. Just make a look like that and go to my uh, collapse edges. Collapse one or two and then hold down control and collapse the rest. Right, that just reduces that back to normal. There's no harm in having triangles in your mesh, um, especially if they're out of the way like this and then not there's not going to be a lot of deformation here. We're not going to have this overlapping like that. You know, it's still a good balance and it's away to the side uh, and all your polygons are two triangles anyway. There's going to be a cut this way or that way that you don't see and you know the only way to really see it is if you've got a, a lot of deviation in the shape between these points, you would see it it would either peak or it would valley here okay so carrying on with this um, you can press 4 to see the original topology and I use Z remesher and, uh, and ZBrush just for it to give me a good start with edge flow and things like that but it also helps when you come in to do retopology that you can kind of see the flow of things gives you a starting point as opposed to the decimation master uh, it can be really hard to read because of all the triangles so it's just a good tip to use Z remesher for a part of the process but I did find that it did make some dodgy issues running about the eye which uh, in hindsight I would have done my retopology earlier but I'm too busy fussing with the design to bother with that. So I'm just going to put another split in here and make sure this isn't too much of a triangle. Right, there's nothing wrong with this kind of geometry here. There's going to be a triangle going this way or that way. That's the only thing. So I'm going to do a add, uh, I'm going to split it just to make sure it goes the way I want. Right, and maybe here as well, just to make sure the triangle goes the way that I want it to go. Right, so you can force that. I'm um, just going to carry on with this. This is going to wrap up this video though. This is 3D coat and yeah, really nice for retopology. Uh, I really like this brush uh, for relaxing, you know, areas that you've worked on and they're too tight like that. Then you can just massage those out and 
I'll make these these more equalized. So yeah, uh, definitely prefer this to anything else I've used for retopo. I've used it for about ten years now. So yeah, catch you later. Bye.